Jackson City Council holds an emergency meeting with zoo officials at City Hall. Mayor Lumumba was there. WJTB 12 Shea O'Connor joins us live in the studio to tell us what went down. Shea. That is right. Good afternoon to you, Andrew. Now, we are told of five city council members just approved $200,000 to be given to the Jackson Zoo to help get them through the year. Now, leaders with the zoo say the zoo numbers are still low in attendance. They believe several factors, including Jackson's infrastructure and the unpredictable weather, have been contributing to this low attendance. We've encountered uh, a little bit of a blip in it with attendance being down. Uh, this, we asked for additional funds from the city and the city graciously gave us an additional 200000 to help us through till the end of the year. So this money that was requested by the zoo today is to uh, act as a bridge to get us to the place uh, that we've all agreed that we want to go. And so these resources are necessary to make certain the zoo can be sustained until the new uh, management group takes hold. Now, Mayor Shokwe Antar Lumumba says the new management group, Zushinarium, is set to take over soon. Now, the audit the city agreed to give the new managers is set to be delivered this week. Now, in the meantime, Mayor Lumumba says the city is also investing in more resources for the zoo. That includes investing in the 1% sales tax to have Capitol Street in Ellis Avenue paved. Andrew, back to you.